So I'd like to talk about the IDR, which is provides the um, back end image data to some of the demos we've seen earlier. So the IDR is a public image uh, repository where the images have been highly curated alongside other metadata from uh, the published studies. And everything in the IDR is um, publicly available through this user interface, but also through uh, API endpoints. The IDR contains studies from a lot of different types of imaging. So I'm going to search for um, sequencing data and looking at this um, study from the Chen lab with um, in situ genomic sequencing. Browse to those images and we can see this study alongside a large number of, number of other studies. And I'm going to browse down to the images themselves. So here we see thumbnails of the raw images um, alongside images from um, the segmented cells. And I'm going to open this image in an image viewer. You can see there is a, a Z stack um, image with time points for across the uh, sequencing cycles. And the different channels here uh, for the different dyes um, in the sequencing steps. We have ROIs um, associated with this data, and these are in the form of, of points for the sequencing loci, um, and they are grouped into uh, grouped by a uh, chromosome. So those coordinates have come from um, tabular data submitted by the authors. Um, and if I select the image here under this attachments, I can see that table data here. So this is the data as, as submitted um, by the authors of the study, and it has coordinates on the image and we've used these coordinates to generate the um, points that you saw on the image. And these then have identifiers which are uh, linked to each row of this table. I can query the table um, using any of the numerical columns here. Um, to see an example, you can click on this link um, and it adds the query into the, the URL. Let's look at a slightly more meaningful uh, example that I created earlier. So in, in this example, we're fil um, filtering by the chromosome as well as position on the chromosome and the, the distance to the edge of the nucleus. So it's ones that are close to the edge of the nucleus. And this returns just these four rows. I can access this data in the form of, of JSON data. If I add a slash JSON to the, the URL, um, and that provides the same data in the form of JSON. If I go back to the table, you'll see that the, um, the names or the columns here are as they were provided by, by the authors and in their particular imaging workflow. Um, what we're doing with uh, subsequent studies is to adopt the recommendations of the 4DN working group on a fish omics format um, to try and standardize the names of the, the columns in this table, provide the data in a standard format. Um, and so there'll be a, the, the names used in, in the data that's returned as well as the queries on the columns. Um, the, the JSON data and these identifiers here can be used um, to browse to that particular shape on the image. So that's just the shape 
in the, the URL. And as you can see, it's identified a shape on the periphery of the nucleus. So all of the thumbnails and the rendered images uh, are also um, available as a public um, APIs, as well as the JSON data for the ROIs. Okay, thanks for watching.